At what point did you know you just had it and you had to keep going? When I woke up. This morning, what did you think? Let's get it. Mario. Pleasure to have you here, yes, brother. Yes, indeed, my brother. What's going on? I know you be. I know you have a busy schedule. <laughs> I know we're both. I don't know how you got me out here. I know. I know we're both <laughs> in that lifestyle. So I appreciate you taking the time, sitting down with with me here, and just chatting, brother. Yo, I want to reflect man? on a lot of things today. Welcome to Vita the Don, episode number three. A lot of you guys may not know him or may know him. He goes by the name of Mario Duran, the heavy hitter. He has built up his catalog to the extreme in the city of Miami. Congratulations, brother. I appreciate it. You were actually one of the, the, the first people to give me one of my biggest opportunities out here. Uh, for you guys who don't know, Mario was the one who connected me with El Santo, in which I'm a resident there, uh, two of the hottest parties. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to back I, sets, we got it on Smash, so thank you for that, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, um, <clears throat> I want to I wanna jump in and I want to discuss what was life for you before DJing, what was your childhood like? So prior to the DJ, like well, let's chat about so, that. So first and foremost, um, I'm from Panama. So I came from, I mean, I'm from Panama, Colón. Colón is being the the hood of of oh, Panama. Snap. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm sure you know how it is in yeah, VR. You know, you gotta, but yeah, I, I, it's it's like pretty much like the worst place you can live in Panama. You know, I, wow. so I, I was nine when I came here. Um, you know, I came here with my family. Uh, we basically just, we came here, you know, just, it, it was one of those situations that we we came here thinking, oh, let's let's just, find, you know, find a better life in, in you know, when it, when it comes to just everything. Because I know I- Miami? You came to Miami first? Came to, I lived in, no, not Miami. I lived in Hollywood. Oh. Hollywood, yeah. Okay. I, I, in Hollywood. In Broward. Uh, Broward. Yeah. Um, I was raised in Broward pretty much. So I have like, I mean, bro, I, I moved to Miami like five years ago. Oh wow! Yeah, so wow, I uh, I basically came to uh to the U.S. Uh, we got a, we got a spot, and I went to middle school. I was in the fourth grade. Um, and then we, you know, we were just here, and and it was just one of those things that, you know, we came here. I, I had no like knowledge of anything i speak english you know so i just I we just came here because my, my my parents wanted to come here yeah. and we came here and i was that okay you know so and, and when was dj introduced to you around what well, age i was probably i think it was like 18 okay. 19 i was i was i remember i was i was a senior in high school and uh i i so my family my mom my dad we 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 all grew up like Christians. We were all Christians, you know. Oh, same here, same here. Yeah. Actually. So so we were going to church. Um, my dad was very musically influenced. Well, so he 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 likes playing the drums. He likes playing the the piano, the trumpet, you all that stuff. Skills? So we. Yeah. So so basically, my music background comes from my dad. Nice. Because he was so like in, in tune with music. Um, That's beautiful. So he he used to play that. Like, he used to play the drums at church. So eventually, you know, me watching, I started getting involved because I literally was going to church every Sunday uh, with my with my parents, you know, my family, and um, so I got involved in the, in the church, you know, when it came when it came to the, the music side of things. Okay. Um, as I, you know, I got older, and I was in school, and I, I met one um, one of my friends from back in the day. Um, and he was DJing. Uh, he was doing like house parties and like little things like that. So me and him, we just became real cool. I was helping him, like I was promoting him in a way. Back in the day, you had like the business cards. We used to go around, and I used to just like try to get him parties, you know. Oh, so you were but hustling. I, yeah, but I was not in. I would never thought like, oh, I want to be a DJ. It was never in my radar. I actually want to be a pilot. That was like pilot. Right, pilot. Yeah, I wanted to fly. I found uh, flying fascinating, you know. So oh, wow, that's yeah, beautiful. So I, yeah, <laughs> yo, you see, and this is why I love to do this because there's a lot of people who think they know you, but they don't know. This. They don't. They don't know. They don't, this. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted. To, I wanted to fly. That was my. I was. You know, if I wasn't a DJ, I would have been a pilot. You guys heard it here first. <laughs> and all right, so for someone who doesn't know you from a hole in the wall, what type of introduction would you like? Who is Mario Duran? 
Mario Duran, I, I basically, bro, listen, one thing I can tell you is the, the great thing about life is you never know where it's going to take you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never thought that, oh, growing up, you know, I was going to be this, this, like, DJ that, like, is doing all these things and everybody's going to, like, want to be around and want to book, you know, that, that kind of situation. So it, it's definitely um, a blessing. You know, I'm very grateful, very humbled. Um, but basically, so, a, a title to you isn't really relevant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, look, at the end of the day, uh, I, I always felt like I had to make my own lane mm. because, you know, growing up, you know, again, I, I didn't. I wasn't the most popular kid. I wasn't the the best, you know, dress, the best anything, you know. And so I kind of had to make my own lane, you know, when it came to, to this whole music thing, you know. So, um, yeah, I, yeah, it's one, one of those things. For those people who who don't know, uh, you're associated with the heavy hitter DJs. Yeah. How did that come about? So, uh, the heavy hitters is one of those things that I, I grew up, I, you know, DJing. I was listening to DJ Camillo. Okay. Camillo, shout out to Camillo. Shout out um, to Camillo, yeah, facts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> One of the best. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, uh, I, I, you know, I, I used to listen to Camillo on Hot 97, and, uh, you know, he was always dropping a heavy hit and drop and, and whatnot. And um, so I, I found it to be, like, one of those things where I was like, oh, shit, man, that's dope. Like, well, what is this heavy hit thing? So I kind of looked into it, but I never, like, actually put, like, my, like, the effort to, like, want to get down with the heavy hitters or whatnot. So... Um, last year I had like two, I want to say 2021. Oh, so no, it was 22, 20, 20, yeah, 2020, 2021, huh? uh, 2022, especially 2021 was a big year for me. Like, you said 2021? 2021 was right a big after year. The yeah, pandemic? Right after the pandemic. Right okay. um, It was a big year for me as far as like work. I started uh, basically just getting booked everywhere and, and, and and just really started moving, you know? And I felt like it was right to, you know, try to make that move to become a heavy hitter, you know? Mm. And I felt like, damn, like, I can show these guys, like, you know, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good enough now. I'm in a good place uh, to be part of, you know, be down with the crew. Right, right. And um, so I reached out to, to, to you know, Enough, Camilo, DJ Enough uh, is, is, you know, it's, that's my guy right there. Is it like uh, a process? You need a, yeah, it's, it's you basically, need yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. So, so, so basically, look, the, the, the number one thing to be a heavy hitter, you got to be moving. You got to be moving. You got to run your city. Name got to be ringing. You, you got to be running your city. So if you, whatever city you're from, you got to be running that city. You got to okay. be everywhere. You, everybody got to know you. You got to be doing You got to be a popular guy in that city, right? And then number two is if you want to be, you want to get down with, it, with the heavy hitter crew, you got to. You gotta get pretty much vouched by whatever other heavy hitters in that city. Okay. So if Referral you live in Miami, type so, of shit. Right, okay. Right. So you're, if you if you're in Miami, you gotta whoever whoever's down here that's a heavy hitter, they gotta like be like, yeah, yeah, he, he's he's good. You know, he he can get down with the crew. It's like a co-signer. Um, it's a co-signer, okay. right? Right. So not just anybody can get down with the crew. I mean, it's, you, you gotta be it's gotta be people that are like, all right, you know. Remember, everybody uh, when it comes to this music thing, everybody has egos. You gotta. That that's one thing that like they're real big on like you know we don't want people that got like big egos in there and everybody you know it's a family that's the most that's the most important thing that we move like a family you know we help each other out in any kind of way you know what i'm saying and and that's that's the beauty of it you know um i can honestly tell you like there's a lot of crews out there but the heavy hitters is really like one of the most like Salute I mean, to I'm the talking, heavy hitters. Salute to the heavy hitters. Heavy hitter like it's, DJs. It's, it's a big. It's, 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 it's a big. It's a big movement. Like these guys, there's guys all over the world. You know, it's international. It's not just right. New York, Miami. It's everywhere, everywhere. It's, and everybody's moving. Everybody's representing the crew. So that's good. So you know? a little bit before 21, how was 2020 for you? How was the pandemic? <clears throat> was that challenging? So the pandemic was very challenging. Um, <clears throat> I'm listening. I, I, I wanna. I wanna. I wanna say that like. 
it was a very difficult time for everyone. I, yeah, I, for, sure, for sure. For everyone. I'm talking from just, I, I don't care what you did as a, I don't care what you do for a living. Yeah. I don't care what you do. It was a difficult time because nobody knew when we were going to get back to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah, yeah. Um, one thing I can, an advice that I can give people is always make sure you save money because no one expected something like that to happen. Like, that was very, like, a difficult time that like everybody was just kind of like damn like where we gonna get money from and, and what are we gonna do and luckily i saved some money so when, when it came to my bills and, and you know that whole situation and everything got paid off and everything was cool like it was you know i was able to ride out but i, I was concerned because i was like damn like when are we gonna get back to work i was, was stuck in the house right. it wasn't like oh we could just go out and right. for a drink or hang out no right, we were like right, stuck right, in the house right. it, was, it was like serious like real quarantine you know um it was a difficult time Little by little, you know, things started, like, opening up. We started doing, like, the underground parties in a way. I'll call it underground parties where we weren't yeah, supposed yeah. to open. But, but we... Miami was wild. Wild. Hey, when I, I tell you... That's when I came out here. Okay. So... I came out here 2020. Okay. So... To visit. To visit. And you saw, <laughs> hey, hey, there was parties all That's over right. it on the ground. And police were shutting everything <laughs> down. And, and, and it was crazy. It, it, was, it was crazy to see... Um, because there wasn't that many options, so that whatever was open, everybody was flocking to. It was like those those places, and it was small spots, you know. Right. And we were literally getting shut down randomly at two in the morning, one in the morning. And that was a, that was like the luxury. Of it. You just never knew. Yeah, you feel me? Like, but I tell you what. Partying. But I tell you what. That was. I can tell you that was one of the best times. I can, yeah. I can tell yeah, you. Like, it, it, it was one of the best yeah. times because, you know, people were so like just like it was so exclusive. Right. So I was blessed enough to like work in some of the exclusive spots, you know, that, right. that you know, at that time and, and and people were coming out and, and you used to see like there was tables that were getting booked for five thousand, somebody's like, nah, I got ten thousand on it. It was crazy. Wow. It was crazy. And um, Mario. <clears throat> has it always been Mario Duran? No. Uh, <laughs> funny thing is when I first started DJing, so when I first started DJing, it was just a hobby. It was it wasn't nothing that I wanted to take. You know, it, it was nothing that I thought I was going to get me somewhere. Doing it for fun. It was doing it for fun. It was a hobby. Yeah, it was just a, like, yeah. oh, this is whatever. I was making easy money, like, here and there. And, and um, I had the, my, my official first name was DJ Sucio. DJ Sucio came Sucio. about. Sucio. Sucio. Sucio meaning dirty in, in translation. Right. So one thing, I'm a, an advice for DJs that are coming up and starting, make sure that your DJ name is something that you're going to be able to hold forever you know because i started off as dj sucio and then like you know i didn't think anything of it because it, again it was just a hobby right um then i got into the radio okay. which um the radio i did it for eight years i was on the radio in broward i was known in broward okay. as dj sucio <clears throat> and so the radio uh, helped out radio helped out a lot nice um, nice and I was I was on the radio. Everybody used to listen. To, everybody used to know me in the clubs, locally. All oh, DJ Susio, DJ Susio. Um, but I felt held back in a way because there were certain spots that I wanted to do that I wasn't getting booked at. But I didn't know why, you know. Mm. So after you know the the radio situation, you know, kind of just you know fell apart because. You know, it wasn't it wasn't up to me. It was just like higher things that I had no control over. Right. Um, I felt like I had to hit hit a reset button, and I did. So I said, you know what? Let me change my name. Around what age was this, man? Oh, uh, I want to say it was actually not too long ago, bro. It so was it was probably it. like I want to say probably like six years ago. I, okay. I changed my name. Um, six and that's years when ago. you just started. Yeah, six years ago. So I, I said, you know what? I, I, I got to change my name because I feel like I'm being held back for certain gigs and certain mm -hmm. places that I wanted to play because it was a, it's a branding thing. So if you have a, an upscale venue, you know, that maybe wants to book you, but they don't want that name on the flyer. You right. know? They don't want that look. Right, I mean, it's, right, you know, right, right. no matter how right. good you may be. There's like a, a negative association. Right. So even though in your eyes, right. it may not be negative. No, it might be unique to you. And I ended up changing my name. And then that's when a lot of, like, other parties started so started coming in. And things that I wanted to, like, you know, that I wanted to get into. I'm like, oh, damn, now, now, now these parties are coming through. So that worked out. Um, 
So yeah, the whole name changed. So I was DJ Susa. That, that was that, that's a fun fact. <laughs> a fun fact. A fun fact. How do you how do you how do you continue to find the fire, Mario? Like, what what inspires you? How do you how do you keep pushing, considering that you have so much time in this? Like, how do you find how do you find something that that what what is it that that keeps you pushing, keep you going? Yeah, I I think um, I think music itself. I think okay. music music itself like the way the, the way it evolves. Like, yes, I feel like yes, I, I yes, feel, yes, I feel yes. like I feel like you know when with this when, when you feel like damn like ah oh, like there's always something new that comes out that makes you want to be like damn I want to play this I, I want to see yeah. how this sounds in the yeah. club I want to see how the people vibe to it yeah. how they how they how, how they react to it you know and 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 it's, and it's on also like just the, the people just being around you know the, the environment of, oh. of, of of seeing people having yeah. a good time and and, and you and, and it's because you're playing and you're you know it's it's it's, it's you providing that vibe you right. know because guess what. People go to the club and they go out because they just want to get away from their everyday problems. You know, they've been working all week and, and now they want to go out for a drink. And, you know, now you are the one that's providing that, like, that vibe that they can get away from, you know? So it's definitely, that that's probably one of the main reasons why, I, what keeps me going, you know? And, you know, it's interesting that you say that because when people ask me, oh, why do you DJ? It's like, yo... I I'm able to create an escape for, right. for, for the majority of people right. who come out. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like people come out and I'm able to create a memory for these people exactly. who may know me or exactly. may not know me. And these exactly. people who keep coming back, let's say you have some regulars who always attend your shows or whatever. Each time it's a different experience. Yeah. That to us, we might not really be like, we may not, we, we, we may just take it like, right, like, oh, yeah, right, you know, right. You know, but to people, it's like, oh, yo, I've, I've really come out for you. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. I, 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 you know, one, one thing I'm going to say, um, I, I've been doing this for a long time. So I, I'm very, uh, like, I, I can pick out talent mm. from, from, you know, like certain people, like there's, there's certain things that I look for, mm. and I'm gonna say this. Don Styles, when when I never heard him live in person, um, we, that's we, right, we, that's right. We, 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 we were following each other on Instagram, and um, and I, I'm always like open. I'm the type of. Oh. You're good. Let's put it right there. What about people? So no, we're good. We're good. <laughs> so I'm this type of person that like I'm, I'm always I always want to help out new talent. I want I want to see I want to get new faces in the game to 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 start really like coming up, you know? Because I'm already an OG. Like I've been doing this for so long, and I'm already in a position that like you I'm very secure. Others. I'm very secure myself, you know. So I I don't I don't I know some guys are very like insecure, like oh they don't want to put other people on. No, I want to put people on because yeah. guess what? I can look back and say, "Oh yeah, look, 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 look at this guy. He's he's touring the world." But guess guess who helped him on? You know, get on. You know what I'm saying? Right. So so Don Styles was like one of those things where I seen him on on Instagram. And I heard him a couple of times. Like, yeah, this kid sounds pretty, pretty, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty good. I hit him up. Yo, do you want to come do a spot? You know, I need somebody to do this. I was like, and long story short, now he's he's moving. You know, and, 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 that's right. And but guess what? It's only the beginning because. You know, now he's gonna get that exposure. You know, yes. um, and and a lot of times, there's talent you know hitting in certain places, but they're not getting that exposure. You know, so um, Morgan, I want to say thank you. Forever. Listen, listen, For I, real. listen. I I I I know. And, and one thing I noticed about Don Styles is that he was someone that was willing to learn, oh, yeah. and, and, and 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 humbly was always. It's it's always like. Oh yeah, just listening. A lot of guys just you talk to them and they they think they know everything and they know. But I feel like you have the right mindset when it comes to, you know. And that's how I was, you know. Like when I first started, I, I want to, and I'm still like that. I'm you still like you have to. I still want to learn. You, you have know what I'm to. Be. I'm still looking to, to to better myself and improve as a DJ because we don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? So that that's that that's that. So keep doing what you're doing, and then that that's. You, you'll brother. get places. You'll get places. How, how, how do you how do you find a balance? Like, what do you do to find a balance? Because I'm assuming, well, not assuming. I know for a fact, but you get parties thrown at you consistently. So how yeah. is it that you go from being a DJ 
to balancing your personal life. Because people think that, well, I'm from Boston originally, right? We had curfew 2 p.m. Shout out Boston. Shout out my city one time. You feel me? <laughs> um, 2 a.m., it wasn't cutting it for me, though. You feel me? Out here, you don't know when the hell you're going to get home. You're right. So, you know what I'm saying? So, so how do you keep that balance? So it, so scheduling is very important. Scheduling, like okay. scheduling, scheduling. I, I would tell you, like, my schedule is, like, very, like, like I wake up every day kind of like I want the same time. Routine. It's a routine. I have a routine schedule. So it, it, every day I wake up around the same time. I I know, like, what areas I have to run okay. at what time. I take a mandatory nap at a certain time. A mandatory nap. Mandatory nap. <laughs> so I know. So that, that gets me through the night, you know? Okay. Depending on what parties I have that night, sometimes I have two, sometimes one. But I have a, 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 a nap that I take every day. I wake up at a certain time. I have a routine. So my schedule is very important. Sure. And then, yeah. And then, like, when I go places, now, like, I have, like, a two-hour set, two-and-a-half-hour set. So I know, like, okay, I'm going to get on at this time. I get off at this time. If I hang out and I choose to stay a lot longer, that's up to me. But I really – but my schedule kind of is very, like, down-packed. You know, sometimes if I have like other things I got to do, then I, you know, I say, okay, well, today I got to skip my nap because I got to, I got to, I got to go to this, this like private event or, or this birthday party or whatever. So I just got to, you know, but scheduling is the most important thing when you have a lot of parties and you have a lot going on, you know, so. Mario, who influences you in terms of like, if you had to go and say, these are the people who are like, kind of put the not battery in your back because you, you gotta find that from within, right? Like you mm-hmm. gotta you gotta find that willingness from within. But is there anybody who you could like give your flowers to? Like I could give my flowers to you. Right. To right. Is uh, there anyone that like, you would I, give your yeah, flowers yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. De- definitely I, I so I wanna say that the mom, one, your dad, okay, yeah. So number one, me I'm not I'm not I'm far from the best DJ. So there's one thing about a lot of DJs is that they so some people they, they put out oh, I'm the best. Oh, I hate that sometimes. I, I, I'm this, I'm yeah, that. I'm yeah. this. Look, let your work speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? Let your work speak. speak. I don't. I don't like. I'm not the type of person that I don't like praise. I don't like when people give me praises. It's it's great. It's cool. Like oh damn, feels good. But it's always a self. You know, you feel like damn. I'm 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 doing what I gotta do. I'm moving. Your work shows for itself. You don't have to be posting. Oh, I'm better than this guy. Oh, I do this. So I, I very humbly say that hey, I'm not the best. And I don't want people to say, oh, he's the best. I don't want that title. That's too much pressure. Amen to that. <laughs> I agree with you. I'm the same way. I, I don't, that's too much pressure. I got a lot to work on. A lot I, to work on. I, I don't, that's too much pressure. You know, I, I want to be just like, oh, that's Mario. Boom. And, and whoever wants to give me that praise and whatever, good, good for them. But I'm never, you're never going to hear from me. Um, but there's definitely guys that I, that I, that I, that I, I, I stick with. I, I have a very small circle. So one thing... That's like that. Listen, one thing I can tell you is be, having a small circle is probably the number one thing you can do. Okay. You have a lot of acquaintances. You have a, a lot of people that like want to like whatever, but having a small circle is very, very, small circle. very, very important. Um, I want to say uh, Don Hot, DJ Don Hot, that's my dog. Shout out Don Hot. He's probably someone that I can say that we, we, we have like this... Uh, we feed off each other's, uh, you know, vibes. So we understand each other well. We, we, we know how to move. We know how to create relationships. I think mm-hmm. it's very important, like, you know, for DJs coming up. You got you to gotta learn how to build relationships with people that are going to get you places. So elevate it's, you. Elevate you. You, you, you can't. You, you got to stick with people. You got to rub elbows with people that are going to get you places. It's not just like, oh, I'm going to just hang out with my homeboy of, of, of 20 years because he's my homeboy and it, and whatever like no yeah. you gotta run with people you gotta yeah. rub elbows with right. people that are gonna right. get you places because that's how you elevate your, your, yourself you know what I'm saying you could be a great DJ but if you're still running around with the same little crew the same little pack of guys that are not doing nothing or whatever it's the, the, you gotta rub elbows with people that are, are going places you know what I'm saying and you feed off each other's energy you know what I'm saying because they say Don Hot. He has a he has a lane that he's on. I'm on a different lane, mm-hmm. but we 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 are on the same path. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to him. 
Um, and again, I have other DJs that I that I listen to and I look up to. There are there are great. Of course, great. of course. You know what I'm course. saying on, on the radio side, um, on the club side. So, I mean, again, I I, I want to inspire other people um, to just be great. You know, um, right now Miami is a city that's growing fast, and there's going to be a lot of opportunities for new guys that are coming up right. to grow. And be and be great. So, uh, I really, I really do feel like, you know, th- just just stay humble. You know, stay humble, stay humble, and and, and all those things are gonna come along. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, and, and we're almost wrapping up here. But who are you now compared to a few years ago, where maybe you thought, okay, yeah, I'm doing it right, but now you look back and you're like, nah. I mean, it's a different level. Like, yeah, what, what what is it now that 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 stands apart from who Mario Duran was back then? I'm definitely more. I think I'm definitely more uh, mature. Okay. Uh, I was. I, I mean, I, I don't want to say I was ever immature, but I, I'm more mature now. I think that I, the way I move, the way I, I look at things, more on the business side than That's I did important. before. That's very important. That's very important. I look at things on the business side. Like I don't. Like, it's not like, okay, I, I walk in the club and I'm no longer, like, looking at, like, oh, there, how many, like, how many people are in here? It's, 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 it's a thousand people in here. I don't look at it like that because it could be a thousand people in there, but is there money in there? Are you mad <laughs> It's not about, it's not about, I, I mean, I, I never used to look at things like that. Now, I look at it like when I walk in, I'm looking at, okay, where is the money? Right. You know, where is the money? Like, who's spending what? Like, what, like because guess what? You know, I want to make sure that we make money that night, mm-hmm. you know, so we can keep that party going. And that's probably one of the things that when I used to be younger, when I was younger, I used to do parties that used to last two weeks, yeah. a month. And it's just things weren't going nowhere. But now my focus it's making sure that, you know, we are focusing on money. You know what I'm saying? So if there was anything that I would say that, that would be different from before is I'm, I'm more business-minded. Your mindset. My mindset. It's, mm. it's, it's more of a, mm. like, we're running a business. You know, we're not running a, a hangout spot. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you hang out, you have a good time. That's part of it. But when you, when you get to a certain level, it's like, all right, we're here, like, on, on, on the business vibe, you know? And we party, we hang out, but it's business. And thanks to you, honestly, being brought into El Santo, I got introduced to a whole new, a whole new realm, bro. And I was like, like I've that. never, I've never seen. You know, I'm not gonna get too into it, but I've never been in a in a in an establishment where I have to go based on a, a, a certain thing. You know, it's like I usually I'm, I'm able to do what I got to do. But now I, I'm in these establishments where it's not like 200, 300, 400 dollars that's being spent. It's a couple of thousands. Big bags. Big bag. You Big feel bags. me? So it's like you have to keep that in mind mm-hmm. as a DJ. You have to see who's out there. You feel me? Cater to that person yeah. while still keeping that balance. So I, I, I never I never. So when I first started, it was it was one of those situations that I, I didn't look at. I mean, for, you, you're getting exposed to that. But mm-hmm. what happens is a lot of DJs, they stay in a circle of, you know, parties and things. And, and they're not looking to outgrow those things. Yeah, because yeah, because yeah. when I started, when I was start. making, when I started, it was to what those places are, 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 are their sales. So their sales mm. are like, they're, they're not great. People people are not in there spending five, ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars on the table. Right, right. So they gotta pay you accordingly. Right. But if you're stepping out of that zone of you're stepping out of that zone of like, okay, now I you, you, you know, I, I need to figure out how to get into these parties that are are, are making more money so I can get my back up. Mm-hmm. You know? So yeah, a lot of these places that that we that we work out, that I work out now. Are, it's, it's, it's big money, you know, yeah. that's involved, you know. So with that also comes big money for me because <laughs> I, I can charge more. One you know? hand washes the other. Exactly. Yeah. I can charge more. So it's definitely one of those things. But, I mean, that's how it was. But I, I was working locally uh, at certain spots, and then I, I, I got I got brought into the big leagues, as I would say. 
and, and that right there just it was a game changer because one thing it was it started at one place then it was another and it was another and it was another and now it's and just like a chain effect mm -hmm. the big chain effect okay. so beautiful mario thanks again for taking the time um i have one more one more question for you one quick shout out to made in dr shout out puff jersey deep lex hit list shout out puff. thank yeah, you shout, thank shout, you guys so much for allowing us to be here mario any last mm -hmm. words of encouragement for those who support you those upcoming DJs. I know you sprinkled a little bit already. Yeah. But um, is there anything you would want to say just to just to kind of influence or, or, or inspire people who might be moving on or moving to Miami, new here, new DJs? Anything that just comes to you immediately? Immediately, I I would say find 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 someone that inspires you and mm -hmm. and follow them and, and 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 follow their footsteps, you know, and and pick their brain. Um. You know, I think, I think, and again, rub elbows with people that you want to. So if you want to yeah, be on, 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 yeah, if you want, if you, if you see that someone is at a certain level, then you got to rub elbows with those people. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and know, like, I'm not trying to step on nobody's toes, but I, I I'm just trying to, I'm trying to learn how to get there. And, and remember, you can't, you got to call before you run. A lot of guys they come to Miami or they, they come to a new city or, or, or they just started doing this and they think, bro, I've been doing this for years. So I, I it, it's like, if you're young, if you're like in your early 20s, mid 20s, you know, whatever, mind you, I had a kid when I was 22. So, mm. so for me, mm. you know, it, it, it was one of those things that mm. like, you, you know, for me, it was one of those things that like, I, I you know, I started and, Bro, I was calling. I was doing little spots, and I and I didn't have the opportunity. Then I got the opportunity. But if you're still young, don't don't lose. Don't think like, oh, I'm never gonna get there. Like it takes time. It takes a lot. Of some people time, man. Yeah. get there faster than others, but yeah. it takes time. But some people think, oh, they see you doing these big clubs and think, oh, I want I want to do that right now. I want no. It doesn't work like that. You know, it takes time. You gotta build your relationships. You gotta build relationships. You gotta, you know. You gotta rub elbows with those people that you wanna, you, you, you wanna, you know, get involved with. And you wanna, oh damn, he, he's someone. I, I wanna be that one day. Yeah. You know, I wanna be that one day and just do the right thing. You know, do your, do your homework. You know, if you if you're a DJ and you you play, you know, if you That's speak Spanish, important. you speak Spanish and English, and you can learn as many genres, you can play as many genres as possible. Very important. Very important. Because when I started DJing, I used to do reggaeton, hip hop. And then I got into salsa, merengue, bachata, mm -hmm. because I started. So now my reach of clubs became more because now I could do a, a, a night all night playing bachata and merengue and, and salsa. And then I could do another night just playing hip hop. And I could do another night just playing reggaeton and, and, and whatever. So the more genres you can learn, you know, that's how you get that. I think that's the key to getting more parties. I think that's exceptional. Right there, what you just said is a major key. Major key. Because major if, key. if you're just a hip hop DJ, and, and, and yeah, you can, be, key, you can be great. You can be yeah. great in that lane. But that's only going to get you, I mean, those parties. And there's not that many of those parties. The same thing on the Latin side. You can do reggaeton. You can be a great, great reggaeton and then both DJ. But you're not going to get anything outside of that. But guess what? If you're... Exceptionally well at hip hop, exceptionally well at reggaeton, dembo, house, top 40. You know, do your homework. Right. Do your homework. That's the only thing I can tell you. Do your homework and get and, and, and get good at all those genres. You know? Stack your crates, learn the hits, and just play hits. I, mm -hmm. I think a lot of I think a lot of DJs don't understand this. And when I mean hits, and I'm, let me let me clarify this. When I mean hits. I don't mean playing the current songs that are oh, like today. Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. There's hits from three, four, five years ago. You know what I'm saying? Seven years ago that you could play. That people but sleep hits. on. Like you, people sleep on. But they're hits. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not just, oh, I'm going to play the the, 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 the the hottest Bad Bunny record or the best uh, whatever. No, it's playing hits, but it doesn't have to be all hits just from today. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people get caught up in playing like like little records that don't really make sense. No, you gotta figure out what are the hits. Stick to playing hits. 
and you'll be fine. Mm. You know? Thank you for that, brother. Hey, so. It's crazy because that was supposed to be my last question, but now you just made me think yeah. of one more. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's when good. Would you know, when would you know that it's time for you to, 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 to that's it, and be done? Is there, is there, do you think you'll reach so, that destination? Yeah, so uh, right now, um, I, at the age that I'm in, I'm thinking long term, mm -hmm. I'm thinking investments. Yeah, very important. So, because obviously, I can't be, I can't be running around at 50 years old, 60 years old, you know, in the club, shouting people out and doing this and that, you know? <laughs> Pulanito. Uh, yeah. Nah, so, so I'm thinking now, I'm, I'm trying, you know, I'm thinking investments, investments is, is, is into something. Good, good. Um, that that's really like my next move. Okay. Um, obviously, I just want I want to you know obviously I'm just trying to stay relevant in my lane that I'm in now. But yeah, I think I would just in, I want to invest in and 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 I'm not gonna stop until obviously you know I feel like damn I'm really washed you know. But to that. You have to know how to move with the wave. You gotta move with the wave. What happens is a lot of like guys like that are older or getting older, they don't know how to adjust to the new wave. Right. So what you gotta do is, in my opinion, you gotta find your younger guy. Yeah. Is and you help them, they help you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because now you're looking at how they're moving, and what, what's the new trend? Because mm -hmm. just like TikTok came out and TikTok became, it's, it's a trend that like everybody's on, you know. Everybody's on the TikTok trend. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know what That's I'm saying? A fact. That's a fact. And guess what? I look at certain, there's certain songs that like, that like the younger generation likes that I may not be <laughs> up, up, up on game with or whatever, but guess what? Yeah, I now, understand you. But now, but now I set up a playlist and I got it there mm -hmm. in case I got to go Just that route. Just in case. I got to go that route. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's another thing. Always be prepared for anything because you yeah. never know, bro, what route you gotta go. Like yeah. you never know. You gotta always be prepared. You might have a client in the, in the club that may want this kind of vibe, but you mm -hmm. gotta just have it. Just have that vibe. Right. If you're buying a laptop, you know my laptop was my first laptop wasn't the biggest, the best laptop, obviously, because you're starting. Yeah. But eventually, if you can invest, you got a job. You can buy yourself buy yourself a five thousand dollar MacBook, and 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 put a lot of memory into it. And pay it off monthly or whatever the case is. Do that. Do it. And just do store it. Store a bunch of music in there, and set up all your playlists correctly. Because guess what? You never know when you're gonna need something. And and as as an old as an older DJ now that I, I, you know that I've been doing it for so long, I have to find ways to keep myself in the trends. Mm. In the trend. Mm. Because if I just get stuck playing old shit and like old stuff, sorry, and and, and old things, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna stay there, but I I have to always find ways to like refresh my style, refresh the music that I'm playing, mm. you know, mm. and and that's very important. That's okay. very important. So, I, I mean, when, when would I stop? I mean, who knows? I mean, I don't really have a expiration date on when I when I will stop, right, you know. Right, but right. I don't think I would. I mean, I, I, music is always gonna be my, my my first love, you know, and, and I don't think I'm I'm never like gonna stop loving it but at some point i'm gonna say you know i'm, I'm gonna take a step back you know just not me. anytime soon not anytime soon god not willing. happening we outside baby i'm willing <laughs> mario outside, duran man. the heavy hitter don styles you know, know. thank you guys so much you know, i appreciate the dawn man that's it appreciate you mario brother you know. good here bro